Hey, what's up guys? My name's John. Welcome to Daily Theology. I wanted to do this video about the report of an outbreak being suppressed at Dr. MacArthur's church in California for one very specific reason. Uh, when you hear about stories like this, you need to be very careful. Dr. MacArthur has had a very, very strong reputation for over 50 years. He's faithfully preached through the word. He's the modern day John Calvin, in my opinion, of our generation. Jamie Terry quote reference. And uh, I saw this story from the Bible thumping wingnut and wanted to do a quick video on my take because you have to know what's out there so that when people bring stuff up, they don't just catch you off guard. Often the enemy's tactic is to bring up something and then see, 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 here's the proof. And if you haven't heard of it, sometimes it can catch you off guard. Well, I don't think there's likely any merit to this story, but even three cases of COVID at a church of 10,000 people plus a seminary is not an outbreak. Where are the flu numbers, by the way? So uh, let's check out this video. I'll put a link to the article. You can read it for yourself, but I'm very skeptical about this claim. And even if there is, uh, or there are instances of a few people having COVID, yeah, I don't think they should give in to an unjust law being run by tyrants that won't let people gather for Christmas in their own houses. So using common sense to disobey laws that are unjust is not a crazy thing to do. And I'm not even saying that he's doing that. So let's check this out. So here's the article about Dr. MacArthur's church purportedly or reportedly trying to cover up an outbreak. Now, this whole idea of virus outbreaks this year has gone insane, where two or three people in a church of 10,000 is considered an outbreak. I don't think so. And also, where are the numbers on the flu? Like, why is no one getting the flu anymore? Ah, who knows? But this article is written by a uh, person with a track record of not necessarily being fair and balanced. And her name is Julie Roys. She's gotten a few stories right in the past, but uh, just according to what I've read, probably not the most balanced. And she's saying uh, he's defied court orders, which he has, but those have recently been overturned by the Supreme Court. Whether or not he's still on the hook for that, I don't, I can't see how he could be. But uh, the Grace Community Church leader who wanted to remain, remain anonymous for fear of losing his job says staff members are being pressured not to report new COVID cases for fear of being shut down, which, yeah, in my opinion, I agree because it has a 99.95% survival rate and you don't want the county shutting down the church. People can use their own brain, determine if they want to go to church and determine if the risk is worth it for them. This is how it works in a society that has the freedom to gather with a 99.95% survival rate on this virus if you're under the age of 70. And so this is common sense. Yes, of course, you don't want the health department shutting down your church for a government power grab in a, in a state that is literally uh, trying to impeach their governor with over one million signatures. Um, yeah, why would you want them in there? And the health department is not the, uh, does not have the authority to enforce a lot of the things that they're doing. It's, it's wrong what they're doing, uh, and it's operated out of fear. So they say they don't list any actual real people. There's like a pixelated picture here at the end, um, but it's saying that they have to report these cases and that they're trying to uh, suppress the information. I think it's just common sense, even if there are people. And I doubt that MacArthur is violating any sort of ethical standards here uh, if these people are indeed being told not to tell the uh, the health department. If I ran a business, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell the health department either because uh, they are clearly in violation of the law, and they're enforcing things that are putting families completely out of business and ruining lives. They also want to uh, kill children, and they don't know if a, if a boy's a boy or a girl's a girl. So are these the people that you really want in control of your life? No, you don't. And so uh, keep praying for Dr. MacArthur. This person said uh, that the leader who reported this was very sick, and uh, this person had to cough several times during the interview, um, and somebody else posted something. You know, stuff like this, uh, and Facebook posts apparently confirmed the outbreak. Stuff like this you want to be very leery of because Dr. MacArthur has a very good track record, and his reputation is very strong. And so 50 years of faithful preaching, uh, you, you take sources like this, and I'm just doing this video so that you know if you hear about this, uh, 
this seems very unlikely, and uh, it's helpful to be informed to know uh, that this story exists. Well, I don't think it will get any traction, and I think uh, there are many people trying to shut down MacArthur. They have yes, so so far been unsuccessful, thus far been unsuccessful, and so praise the Lord for that. Uh, but continue to pray for pastors to have the the courage and the boldness, like James White, like Jeff Durbin, and others right now that are saying, "Where's where are the numbers? This is bogus." And this is a, a total power grab. Uh, this is an attempt to control people. This is an attempt to operate from a paradigm of fear. And uh, as believers, we trust in Jesus who has overcome sin, death, hell, and the grave. We have the cure to death. We are not the people that cower in fear. We are the people in love that trust that God is sovereign even over the particles and germs and diseases around us. And don't give in to the fear pandemic that is, that is taking over the world. Thanks for watching. Please remember to repent and believe the gospel if you haven't. And hammer that like button, like the 95 Theses. Subscribe to the channel. We would greatly appreciate it. And Merry Christmas.